In the award stage of public procurement, a public buyer contracting authority moves away from focusing on who the buyer is that has been addressed already at the selection stage. In turn, the public buyer now focuses on what is the offer by evaluating the submitted bids. This is where the competition comes to its culmination. To evaluate which bid is the best one, use must be the predetermined award criteria. Award criteria are central to any procurement procedure as they constitute the basis upon which public buyer compares bidders' offers for carrying out the contract as well as their costs. It is central nature and importance means also that award criteria must be predefined and presented in a transparent manner to the market already in the tender notice. Based on award criteria, we can see what is the preference of the public buyer. Solely the price, maybe the speediness of the delivery, quality, environmental or social consideration, or matrix of all of the mentioned aspects. What the public buyer values will be reflected in award criteria and their weighting. The award criteria are regulated in Article 67 of the Directive which prescribes that all contracts must be awarded on the basis of most economically advantageous tender, the so-called MEAT. MEAT must be identified on the basis of the price or cost, optionally best price quality ratio, using a cost effectiveness approach such as life cycle costing that is regulated by Article 68. We won't be spending time on this as there is a separate video on life cycle costing that you might want to see. Beyond overall award criteria under MEAT, we can also use sub-criteria or even part criteria. This can include a wide range of factors going beyond cost, including social and environmental aspects. Let's have a look at the example of award criteria and their weighting in a tender for purchase and delivery of food to public canteens. We can see that the used in the overall criteria is meat. The sub-criteria are divided into four aspects, price, quality, environment and diversity. We can also see the weighting of each of sub-criterion. Next we can also see how the sub-criterion are broken down to even more specific aspects and what individual weight is assigned to them. What does the weighting of criteria mean? It means how much importance is given to a particular criterion. So, for example, if the, if the price would be 90% and quality 10%. If the bid provides a superior quality, but the price is not the lowest, the bidder will not win such a competition. Now, let's get back to our example of food procurement and the sub-criterium of environment, which is worth 25%. To achieve maximum scoring in this category, the offer must include delivery of food through so-called green vehicles. Here, an example could be electrical cars. We can also see that the buyer considers that the reduction of CO2 emissions is an important here, as 40% of the part criterium is assigned to it. Other elements for the achievement of max scoring include packaging, it should be reduced, recycled or reusable, fair trade labeled food such as MSC, SCT, labeled fish or equivalent. It follows from the Dutch coffee case that fair trade might be considered as part of the award criteria. The court also confirmed that award criteria might concern the specific process of production, provision or trading of the goods or services or works that are being purchased or a specific process for another stage of a life cycle, even where such factors do not take part of the material substance. Besides the fair trade, also the social aspects can be part of award criteria, as we could see in the Norpas de Cali case, where the Commission challenged the tender for school building contracts, which included an additional award criterion relating to local employment. The criterion was related to French government policy on reducing unemployment under which this was to be taken into account where two tenders were of equal value. 
The, rule, the court ruled that a condition relating to unemployment could be in principle applied as an award criteria, provided it was consistent with the fundamental principles of EU law, in particular the principle of non-discrimination. Due to the importance of award criteria, there are several requirements regarding transparency that must be met. They all follow from Court of Justice case law. Firstly, considerations that are to be included in the award criteria must be linked to the subject matter of a public contract in question. However, it is not necessary for each individual award criteria to give an economic advantage to the public buyer. That falls from Concordia case. For more on the concept of link to the subject matter and the relevant case law, please see the other video. Secondly, award criteria must not confer an unrestricted freedom of choice on the contracting authorities. That means that the discretion must be exercised based on objective criteria, what follows from Bentius case. The court also stated in SAC that award criteria must be formulated in a way that allows reasonably well-informed and normally diligent tenderer to interpret them in the same way. The factors included in the award criteria must ensure the possibility of effective competition and can be verified. That falls from Evie and Venstrom case. Lastly, it is required that the relative weighting of award criteria be specified in procurement documents, except where a contract is awarded on price alone. Weighting might be communicating as a range of values with a suitable maximum spread. So in our example, the spread is between 40, 25, 25 and 10 percent. The court also ruled that any sub-criteria which will be applied in the evaluation must be disclosed. However, the public buyer is able to specify certain aspects of sub-criteria at a later stage. Requirements regarding weighting and sub-criteria should be distinguished from evaluation models. So the mathematical formula that will be used to sum up all the points. In the case Di Maggio, the Court of Justice ruled that it's not required to disclose evaluation methods in advance. However, that method may not have the effect of altering the award criteria and their relative weighting. Finally, regarding the importance of sustainability at the award stage, it is crucial to highlight that on the basis of Article 56.1, the public buyer has a right at any point to refuse to award a contract for non-compliance with the Article 18.2.